Bakush Shalom, Bakush Shalom. Today's daily proverb comes out of Proverbs 20, verse 20. And it says, Whoever curses his father or his mother, his lamp is put out in deep darkness. I'm going to say it again. Read it again. Whoever curses his father or his mother, his lamp is put out in deep darkness. Okay, folks. What does it mean to curse your father and mother? <clears throat> well, to me, what it means to me is being disrespectful to your parents. It's hitting your parents. It's wanting bad things to happen to telling your parents you want bad things to happen to them. It's telling your parents that you wish they would die or you wish they'll get sick. You know, it's, it's things like that. And whether you're a child or you're an adult, you don't need to disrespect your parents. You know, even if you do have horrible parents, you know, you just, you separate yourself from them. All right, but um, you know, back in the day, in the biblical days, you know, people was put to death for um, cursing their mother and their father. You know, and it's also a Ten Commandment that you must honor your mother and your father. So. It's part of the Torah, you know, and, you know, I give kids a little bit more leeway than adults, because kids are kids, and sometimes they don't realize what they're saying is harmful, but I have seen a lot of adults disrespect their parents, for real treat them bad, curse them, call them all types of names, talk talk about them behind their back, you know, and that's not supposed to be, and I'm not come on here like I'm perfect, like I ain't said nothing ratchet to my parents before, you know, because I have, you know, and um, I have asked for forgiveness from them and from the most high, but, you know, we had to be better than that, so, and also, we need to thank the Most High that there's Yahushua because we're not being put to death for for this particular offense. But if you die in the offense, you will be you will meet the second death. All right, and that's part of your lamp being put out in deep darkness is uh, you no know, not making it to the kingdom if you don't repent from it. Uh, but also, I believe that uh, your lamp being put out in deep darkness or as the King James Version say obscure darkness I also think that means that your life is going to be different um, you're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations you might even end up being a very wicked person a reprobate not for sure but you know if a, a lamp represents light and most people have a shine about them a light about them and if that light is put out you most likely you're going to become a miserable person you know with a lot of deep dark wicked thoughts and you might become a wicked person unless you repent for from it but Either way you look at it, um, we don't want our lamp to be put out in deep, obscure darkness. We want to still have that light of life flowing through us. Um, 
you know, that the Most High gave us and everything. Just imagine the sun being gone for years and we'll be in perpetual darkness for years. If you curse your mother and father, you will be in perpetual darkness for years. You know, you will be in a perpetual gloomy state. You know, um, but that's just what I feel, you know, and that's how I take the uh, this proverb, you know. So, you know, again, please respect your parents, especially adults. Just because you're grown, um, that don't mean you should disrespect your parents or talk to them any way you think you can because you never know how much longer you have them here on this earth which with you and there's a lot of people that have lost their parents that wish they can grab their parents and hug them and tell them that they love them you know for real and if certain people I want them to hear this your parents will not be here forever your mother will not be here forever forever your father will not be here forever so show them a little bit more respect before uh, the most high calls them because if they if they get called before if they get called by the most high before you can tell them that you love them or that you are sorry you're gonna feel a certain way and your lamp is gonna be put out and you're gonna feel like there's no way for you to make amends so let's get this thing right I hope y'all got something from this proverb I know I did you know I should have read this a long time ago <laughs> uh, but you know all praises go to the most high Yahuwah and to his son Yahushua y'all check me out tomorrow as I come out of Proverbs 21 y'all take it easy Bakush Shalom.